Good afternoon. Scooch in a little bit, get a little bit closer. It is half past two in the afternoon of Saturday the 25th of May and it's time for Today in My Bujo. How are ya? You alright? Excuse me, just adjusting my waistband a little bit because I was trying to cut me in two. Um, I'm not good. <laughs> Absolutely cream crackered. Um, oh, well, first off, let me show you my end results. Look at this. Is my bloody autofocus on again? It's not supposed to be on. It's supposed to be off, and that's really, really rude of it to keep turning itself on. Uh, streaming. That one, I don't know, it's in here somewhere. Webcam control. It's freaking on again. How pissing rude. Right. Oops. It won't now when I move things. So, um, oh, I've got a bit sticky over here. Um, yes. I started off with plain white paper and now I've got tea dyed. This is from um, Genevieve's Top Note um, collection. I bought the file a little while ago. I haven't stuck it down because um, I saw somebody, I can't remember who it was, it might have actually been Jen herself, and she sewed her envelopes in. But I think she, or she, I can't, I don't know how she did it. And I, what I would like to do at some point, instead of sticking them all in, if I've got an envelope, I'd, I'd like to sew it in so it becomes an actual page. Does anybody know how I would do that with an already sewn together book? You, obviously you don't assemble it until after, you, so say for example you want it to be this way in. So you sew it in through there. Can I do that with an already assembled book or do I have to wait and sort of sew it in as I go? Does anybody know? Can anybody answer this? So yeah, so it's not assembled yet, but I have just folded it up and um, it's so, so pretty. I just want to make shitloads of envelopes like this and oh, as well, I want to learn um, how to use my sealing wax so that I can make envelopes like this, stick them down, seal it. But look, look at the colour. I'm really pleased. At first I thought, oh, it's a bit pale. But then when I look at it against it, actually what it used to look like, which was just white, white copy paper. And then in here, I've got like lots of little, she does a mini, Genevieve, this is, does a mini envelopes and tags. I mean, oh, God knows what you juices for. They're so tiny, but I was just having to play. So they're like little mini inserts for, for example, this is from her collage set. So I printed it out and then I stuck it in um, a thing of tea. So what you would do is obviously you would stick the envelope down and then that could go in there like so. So you've got like a little mini insert to go in the mini envelope, which is quite cool. You know, there's several different, I don't know if that's the same size or I don't know, but there's tags and envelopes and all sorts of bloody, you know, quite large tags, some of them. Which might be good to stick a little miniature photo, but it was just, I was just having a play and then there's loads and loads and loads of little, little bitty envelopes. So whether they'll get used or not, I don't know. Um, I'm sure Wendy can give me ideas. So yeah, so I had quite a good day with that, but I've just stuck that in there so that, that it's all together really. But yeah, very pleased with that. And then I've got some paper over here, which is all different shades, dependent on how long I left it in for. It's interesting to see how it's different. So yeah, so I'm, now I've dyed it, what do I do with it, Wendy? Oops, this is her idea to get me into this. Anyway, um, so let's <laughs> fill in the journal. Ugh. Did I craft? No. I need to do. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Yawning again already. Look. Yesterday's word. 
and I did my night face cream and my hand treatment. So I'm just going to skip forward to this week. What's my word for yesterday? Actually, I think I'm going to put tea dyeing. Why not? That's so much fun. Or tea dye, because that's that that that's all that's going to fit. <laughs> yes, that was a lot of fun. I'll get a card in a minute. I did my mood and my pain last night. Right, you guys need to know steps. Um. Okay, so... Did twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty eight steps. That's good, isn't it? Can you hear Daryl? He's watching. Um, what's he watching? I can't remember what I put on. Oh, I think it's the emoji movie. Yeah, it's the first time he's seen it, so it's sort of grabbed his attention. That's why I'm on here now. So the Daryl fan club. Not today. I've gone wrong there. I've just realised I'm a day out on my sleep because I forgot to put my sleep in a few days ago. Oh wow. Oh okay. Oh man. I suppose I could always put that in. I might just swap them. Hmm, okay. Um, so it's not today, it's not today, so it's the peachy coloured one. Oh, well that's uh, not like me. Oh, that was that really bad night with Daryl. My kitchen, wow. <laughs> I, um, my hair's all falling out of my scarf. Look, I'm going for the gypsy look today and it's all falling out. That's because I keep pushing it with my glasses. Um, I did not do any cleaning up last night simply because I knew I was going to be blitzing the kitchen today. Um, I did put the dishwasher on, but that was all I did. And I knew I was going to be blitzing the, dishwasher to, uh, the kitchen today because I found ants in my fucking kitchen last night. It's a problem we've had in this house forever. Um, and... I just I got to the point last night and I wrote ants in here to remind me that dude kitchen well I didn't need reminding changing the pen um, because it was on my mind all night that there were ants crawling around all over my kitchen and yeah we've basically we've had a problem with ants since we took over the property in 84 and um, we thought we'd got them under control, but Daryl likes those little miniature yogurts that children like, you know, like Munch Bunch and Petit Filou and all that. But I buy Aldione and they're they're about yay big and they're enough for him to have sort of five, six spoonfuls. But then he just takes it out and he leaves it on the side because I say to him, I need to rinse them to put them in recycling. And of course, I think that's what's been attracting the ants because he'd left one out there yesterday that I hadn't noticed. And um, when I picked it up, it was full of ants. Oh God. And I was like, oh my fucking God. So yeah, I had to, I had to go out there this morning and basically go nuts and everything. I'm one of those people that, um, like my microwave and my bread bin and that, they're all on the side because I've got a very, very small kitchen. So if I had my way, everything would be put away, but it's not, and it can't go away. So, um, yeah. I got out there this morning and everything got moved. Oh, this has not updated again, has it? Or has it? No, this has not updated again, look. A problem occurred while trim... Oh. I'm emailing them. I'm just thinking, you can't actually refresh it, do you know what I mean? 
There doesn't seem to be any way to, unless I go to a predicted, um, mm, no, you have refreshed yourself, so that's all right then. Okay, so we've got sun with a wee bit of cloud this evening, but it's a gorgeous day. So, let's put a little cloud over here. So yeah, I moved everything, my microwave, my bread bin, um, if it could be moved, it got moved. If it couldn't be moved, then I cleaned around it. But yeah, I went nuts um, this morning. I've been at it all morning. I've only had one cup of tea. I'm absolutely dying. Um, so uh, yeah, the kitchen has never been so bloody, bloody clean. And... Um, I also cleaned out the drawers. I've got a set of pan drawers, three large drawers. I don't know whether it's the same in the US, but in England, um, it's quite common for kitchens. I don't know why, because they're a pain in the ass. The kitchens have these big, huge, wide, and not very deep drawers that are supposed to be for storing all your pans and stuff in. I personally just find that they're blooming rubbish collectors, and I wish I'd said, no, I don't want them. But, um... They pick up all the dust and dirt from the cat, you know, and you wipe down the countertops and you think, well, I'm going to sweep. So you sweep it straight off the countertop and it all ends up in these fucking drawers. <laughs> so, yes, I, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that. A high of 21 degrees. 21 and a low of 12. Awesome fucking source. The sun was up at 5.04 this morning. And it is going down at one minute. One minute to nine tonight. I've already warned the family. Barbecue time is coming. Which might actually be during this week because my son's off school. Preschool. It's, it's a holiday here next week. for um, It's the Whitson Bank holiday. I don't know what a Whitson Bank holiday means. And um, the schools aren't open for a week. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see if I can change the focus on this. It's like my pen's grown a little black. I'm just trying to get this in focus, guys. Come on. See my pen? It's got these little black. Look, can you see that? My pen's grown a moustache. Hmm. I normally would just wipe that off with my fingers, but I'm a bit. Weird. Hmm. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, we're on holiday. So, yeah, the schools are shut now for the week. So, it'd be a perfect time to have a barbecue, but it's obviously now I'm sort of trying to schedule a couple of working, working lads now because my second son works and now my third son works as well. Um,. One shall I do? Let's do the witch's tarot today. So yeah, trying to coordinate when I've got two kids who don't have like the same hours every week and they both get their rotors at the weekend. So I'm going to sort of try and get hold of my second son. I know what Alex's rotors are because Alex lives with me and he tells me what his rotors are. Um, but I need to get hold of Matthew and find out if Matthew's free this week to come over and maybe do a barbecue. Or uh, chucking stuff on the grill, I believe Michelle said. Was it something like that, Michelle? <laughs> Hang on, because I only just come in that one. Uh, we barbecue a ton in the summer. We actually call it grilling or cooking out on the grill. There you go. 
Hmm. It's similar to cookout. That's what the Aussies call it, isn't it? We're having a cookout. Right. I'm going to have that one. Well, doesn't he look grumpy? Hmm, this young boy. I'll bring this in so you guys can see it a little bit better. Again, we need the focus doohickey over here. So we've got the four of cups here. So we've got this young, this young lad here, look. Oh, I'm a little bit too far with the focus doohickey. There we go. He's, he looks really grumpy, doesn't he? He's glaring at these cups in front of him. Now cups are to do with emotions, okay? Um, their element is water, obviously. So yeah, he's glaring at it. He doesn't seem very happy with these cups, does he? And then you've got this mermaid here next to him. And she's sort of mimicking what he's doing. Now, does she feel the same? Or is she trying to, like, you know, raise a smile, cheer him up a little bit, like you do with, with young people, or people who are being stroppy for no, uh, no apparent reason? So... This card seems to sort of be saying, you know, you're focusing too much over here. Okay, when over here is a new opportunity coming from an unexpected source. I'm not saying a mermaid's going to come along and whisk you away, but yeah, it's um, something new and exciting. You've just got to snap out of it and 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 seize it, I suppose. It's being offered. She's there. She's holding the cup out. You know, it's being offered to her, uh, to this young chap. And all he's got to do is take it. But he's a bit focused on, on what's making him a bit grumpy, isn't he, really? So, oh, pardon me. Yeah, right. Now, let's uh, clear some space. <laughs> oh, I've got the hiccups. Sorry. Right. I'm gonna switch back purple. Oh, I didn't fill it in, did I? Four, four, three was the colour. I think it's that one. No, that's three, seven, three. So let's colour that bit in. I might go and take a photograph of my kitchen in a minute. Just so I can stick it in my journal and go, look at what you did! You cleaned the kitchen! I've put stop brooding, exclamation mark. A new adventure is being offered from an unlikely source. Seize it. That's my little nugget myself. This one lives in a wee pouch. Mainly because I don't usually use them as often, so the ones that I don't use as often tend to get put away. Or if I want to take a deck out, which I don't often do, um, unless somebody specifically asks for a re reading, um, I don't tend to take my deck out and about with me. But yeah, they live they live in there, and they've got a couple of stones. This was gift gifted to me. Um, it's amethyst and quartz, I believe. This was um, given to me as a gift. It's a bit waking up. Um, yeah, and this lives in here with them. So, there you go, right. Did my pain and my mood last night. Okay, so, gold pan is there. And 
we need to now twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty eight which is five point two one miles and sleep was one until nine thirty well kind of <laughs> so I am gonna put it was one o'clock until about six when I got up I went to the loo and then seven until about nine it was a broken night and Daryl slept till ten <laughs> But um, what happened was, um, I got up at six to go to the toilet and discovered that it was that, that time. And uh, so of course I had to deal with that. And then I, as I went back to bed, Daryl woke up. So he said, can I come get in your bed? So I said, yeah. And he chats. And I, in the end I said to him, look, go back to bloody sleep. I'm not getting up at six o'clock in the morning. So he's like, mm, and grumping and all this lot. And he fidgets a little bit. And he actually went back to sleep. He normally doesn't. He normally lies there and after about two minutes he goes, <sighs> Mummy, it's time for breakfast. <laughs> and, and after arguing with him for about an hour, I will drag my ass out of bed. But no, he went back to sleep. And I went back to sleep. And then I realised it's getting late and I hadn't heard my other son fill up the bath because he likes a bath um, before work. And I hadn't heard the bath fill up. So I panicked. So I got up again and um, went to check on him. Well, he was just lying in, awake in bed, scrolling social media like one does. And... Um, I said, oh, you are awake, and I just went back to bed. Um, and then after a while, it was just like, you know, I'm not going to go back to sleep. But Daryl's asleep, so I'm actually not going to disturb him. So I lay awake in bed, straining my eyes by reading Facebook without my freaking glasses on, because I don't take them upstairs, they stay downstairs. Um, otherwise, I'm tempted to spend half the night on my phone. But I don't end up doing that, because I'm not glasses upstairs. Of course, when I'm reading, wearing glasses full-time... <laughs> that is going to change but yeah so um, I didn't want to get up and come and get them because I didn't want to disturb him I was enjoying the so today I have cleaned the cupboards look at that I've done everything except clean the outside of the windows and I need to get somebody in to do that so today today is Saturday <laughs> Saturday people um, I've done the microwave which was yesterday's job. Yay me. I have done the loo and the laundry. Uh, I'm not doing the oven. I've got to do downstairs yeah. Okay, so most of those I can't actually do until later. Yeah, I've been working fucking hours and there's not a lot to clear off. That sucks. That sucks big style, guys. That really does. This is something else I'm gonna have to get used to as well. Is that I can't just peer over my glasses at you. I'm so used to doing that. I've worn reading glasses for years, and when I'm sitting watching TV, I knit. So I've always positioned my glasses slightly low, so that as I'm looking down like this at my hands, which are you know down down below my boobs, I glance down at my knit like that. So I've got my reading glasses for that, and then I just glance over the top of them to watch the TV. But I'm going to need my glasses to watch the TV. So I'm going to have to get used to wearing them more sort of like that. And and not... That's going to be really hard. Oh my gosh. That's that's really, really going to be hard. This thing's really starting to piss me off. I'm going to take it off in a minute. Um, yeah, that's really going to be hard. Oh, here it comes. Hi, YouTube. My film's finished. Was it good? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah? Can you watch another one? Can you watch another one? Oh, I don't know. Do you think you should? Yeah. Uh, can you give me two minutes? Because I just need to finish up in here. You want a hug. Oh, there's my baby. I didn't know you were doing it. No, I know. I tried to be sneaky. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so today I am going to do... I want cake. You want cake. You always want cake. No, I'm, okay. no. I'm going to do some washi samples for Gemma because Gemma wants some wide washi and I'm going to get not that done me. in a minute. No, not you. Um, I just need to find, I'm going to have to find some card or something to put them on because where they are quite wide. At first I thought, oh, you know, I've got a few of these little things left over from my zinc, but they're not, that's not big enough. 
not big enough. So yeah, I'm going to have to cut some card, I think, to stick it all on. Right, let's jump to... Oh yeah, I stuck a couple of cupcakes. You know. I do have stickers, I just don't use them anymore. I used to, when I was a Filofax gal. That was how I decorated, I decorated with stickers. It's only been the last year that I've started to branch out into... Um, you know, drawing and learning art and things like that. So, so Callie and I were talking the other day about wanting to do a Skillshare class because she draws, but she draws realism. And as you guys know, I, I don't I don't do realism. I can't draw a face to save my life. But there are some things that she wants to learn, and I want to learn realism. I want to learn how to draw faces. I'm doing raspberry today, people. Um, so I said to her, you know, we'll we'll sign up and we'll do a skill. We'll do some skill share skill share classes together, because there's still things. I mean, although she's quite artistic and she did art in school and all that lot, which I I didn't. Um, and besides, that was you know a long time ago. Um, we want to do it together, you know. So I said, well, we can sign up and do the course together and set each other assignments and, and things, you know, throughout the week and have homework. Because she said, unless I, because she was a bit mm, about it at first, because oh, I haven't got, you know, I won't do it if I haven't got somebody now. I said, well, that's why you do it with me, because then I will nag you and I will say to you, you've got to set an assignment, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not frightened of criticising her and saying, no, I don't like this because you didn't do this or you did that or why did you do that that way? And she'll do the same with me. And, um, you know, we're not ashamed to do that for each other because it's, you know, encouraging. She used to show me her art when she was small and say, you know, why doesn't this look... Like well, you know, and while I couldn't necessarily... Like, I don't know anything about shading. While I don't know how to do it, I could say to her, well, that looks like that because there's no shading. If you shaded here, would that not look a bit better? You know, and that kind of thing. So I figured we could go through it together, but I don't know whose class to take, you know? And it's like, there's so many classes out there, but I, I really want to start with very, very basic stuff. And I don't think it would hurt Callie to do some basic, you know, just to remind her sort of, you know, how things are like that are done. This bloody woman's like, it's somebody coming today and she's like. So, yeah, so if anybody knows of any classes, could you please let me know so that we could look into it? Or if you can recommend a tutor or somebody on Skillshare just so that we could, uh, you know. Okay, I'm just coming. And also, if you've got any codes. If anybody's got any Skillshare codes and wants to share, you know, I know some, I was watching somebody the other day and she said she had a couple of months and I was like, oh, you know, that, that'd be grand. And I forgot to write down who it was and what the code was. Because I'm like that. I have no brains. Right. So there you go. I'm going to leave that there. And I will be back later on with the evening edition. Um, I like how this has gone. I don't never done this whole just tearing the washing and chucking it down that, uh, mm, but I actually quite like it I'm getting there I, it's a slow process this whole scrapbooking art journaling thing but I'm loving how this has turned out we'll do a big flick through at the end of the month guys okay and um, I need to finish that up today next week's because damn it's Saturday and I'm not there yet so, <laughs> so there we go right have a grand day and I will see you tonight Welcome back to the evening edition. Just a quick catch up so I can go to bed because I'm shattered. <laughs> I've been busy, busy, busy. Right. No face cream, makeup, no challenges, no. Uh, bad booze, bad fizzy. Not had caffeine though. Yeah, my son came home for me. I've had a really shit day. I'm going over there to get a drink. Cool. <laughs> 
copper chips. I didn't craft. And that will get done tomorrow. <sighs> Yesterday when I went shopping, um, we went to the store and um, while we were in there, um, I was at the till paying and Daryl was bouncing around like a bloody loon. He was really, really, really being annoying, yeah? And so I'm looking for a specific pen. And um, he crashed into the back of my leg, my bad leg. And, uh, you know, it really hurt at the time. And I spent the rest of the day really limping. And I ended up taking um, codeine for it. A very nice man in a mobile phone shop actually offered me some Nurofen. I was like, no, I've got something better than that. So I, I took a codeine. And um, when I got home, I just sort of kept on as I was going, you know, through my day. But I didn't have really bad pain last night, which I thought, oh, this is good, you know, codeine's doing something. <laughs> and um, today, I've, I've not done a lot. I've been at home. I've done, you know, 5,200 steps. I've been cleaning and all that rubbish. I haven't really done walking, walking, but my leg doesn't feel too bad. Touch all the wood in the house, you know? Um, yeah, it, it actually doesn't feel too bad, so I'm hoping that I might be on the other end of it. If I'm not, I'm gonna go out for a little walk tomorrow. If while out tomorrow um, it hurts, then I'll, yeah, okay, I'll phone the bloody doctor because I can't be doing this any longer, it's doing my nutting. Right, um, today, I've done the office, I've done the table, I've not cleaned the oven, but I did it um, a couple of weeks ago. I didn't vacuum downstairs, I forgot. I have put the pet bowls in the dishwasher. Um, and I turned said dishwasher on and I've done the worktops and I have swept the floor as well as absolutely blitzing my kitchen. I did the cupboards, you know, cleaned all the all the drawers out. Um, those big pan drawers. Yeah, I can't get hold of it. Oh, paper. I cleaned out the pan drawers, I moved the microwave, the bread bin, the kettle, everything that's out there, I moved it so that I could clean and all, you know, all of that. Right, so is that all of the front of this done? I'm fed up with finding things that I haven't done. The weather is done. That is done. That is done. That is done. Can't do that until tomorrow. That is done. Yay, me. Uh, we're up to here. Ants have been done. I have done washi samples for Gemma. They are ready to go. There's a little bit more, a little bit more. That's all you're seeing. It'll be done tomorrow and uploaded. So, yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to draw bananas. Oh man. I'm not staying awake to draw bananas. I will do them tomorrow as part of tomorrow's um, thing. That's because I don't think I'm doing a drawing tomorrow either. Because it's all stupid cabbage patch and garbage. Yeah, tomorrow is an Atari. So I'll do an Atari and a bunch of bananas somewhere on this. I will though. Um. Colour did I use the last purple one? So it's probably grey pen. I will put in the writing which is Viva Las Vegas! Love Elvis Presley. This has gone really juicy all of a sudden. pen suddenly went really juicy during that which made it like I was almost painting on the page looks fab <laughs> quite pleased with that actually like how it sort of gets darker I would wish it was all the same but you know 
Oh, I didn't take a picture of my kitchen. I said I was going to do that, didn't I? Should I go and take a picture? I'll go and take a picture and show you. Hang on. You'll have to excuse the fact that my kitchen is not decorated yet. I've only been waiting three years. One of them things. Right. This is the cluttered side of my kitchen. Um, there's that, uh, this plant there, that's my kettle, my little cut cake that kitchen rolls. I've got two sort of tea caddies behind all these water bottles and then I've got a big fridge here, covers above and below. And then this side, that's the side everything gets dumped on because there's room not a lot of room, I'll grant you, not a lot of room, but there. anyway, that's all been cleaned and the drawers are down here and they've all been cleaned out as well. So yay me. Really, really pleased with how well I did there. I might even have to print that up when my printer paper comes, which isn't going to be for about another week, apparently. God. So, yeah. That's what I get for getting the cheap option and not the prime option. So anyway. Right, um, I'm leaving that there because I'm quite tired. Even though I've got a lay in this morning, I've been on the go all day and uh, I just want to sleep. So, I am going to bed and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, what should we do tomorrow? Apart from draw these bloody bananas. Go for a little walk, I think, maybe, perhaps. Yeah. Daryl's fast asleep, which is lovely. Uh, yeah, anyway. There we go. Right, I'm offed. Um, you know, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Um, you know, all that rubbish. Um, leave me a comment, we like comments. All of that, you know, click the book, you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content. We will be doing bananas tomorrow because I was supposed to draw bananas today, but I'm too freaking tired to do it. I just want to go to sleep now. Okay. And, um, yeah. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you in Sunday's edition of Today in